Hey, what up, guys? So I'm coming back at you this morning with another... Um, uh, we're going to look at the uh, May TV schedule. Um, the whole month of May, uh, all the boxing, you're going to see a lot of title fights this month. Every weekend's got fights, so you should not be disappointed in the month of May. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of good cards. So uh, we'll kick it off with uh, Saturday, May 4th. That's this weekend coming up. Um, that's the first fights taking place in May. Uh, we got two on ESPN. You got Arthur Better Bia defending his IBF light heavyweight title against Radivoje Kaladzic. Um, I already broke this fight down on another video, but should be a pretty good light heavyweight title fight right here. You shouldn't want to miss out. And actually, if you're in the area and you're you're okay with missing out on the Canelo fight on the zone, um, you can get to this fight. It's taking place in Stockton, California. So. That's uh, Saturday you know, uh, on um, ESPN right there. Then on May 4th also, you got the DAZN card featuring uh, four fights with Canelo versus Danny Jacobs in the main event. Big time fight right there, guys. It's to determine the, the best middleweight in the world pretty much. Um, huge showdown. Cannot wait to see this one. I think it's going to be very good. Um, you know, it could go either way. Uh, make sure you're checking it out. The undercards uh, got undefeated prospect Virgil Ortiz taking on Mauricio Herrera. You got also Joseph Diaz and Saddam Ali uh, staying busy fighting uh, fighting different opponents. So should be a pretty good card. You're going to make sure you want to check that out on DAZN May 4th. Then on Saturday, May 11th, we got two different cards coming at you. Um, first up on ESPN. You got, I'm not, and again, I'm not sure if it's ESPN or ESPN Plus when I do my previews and predictions on these cards uh, later in the month. I will let you know for sure. But this, you got a big double header on ESPN on the 11th. I cannot wait to see it. Um, first on the undercard, you got uh, Emmanuel Navarrete against Isaac Dogbe in a rematch. This is for the WBO Super Bantamweight title, which is 122 pounds. These two guys fought last December. And uh, it was a really good fight. Navarrete upset Dogbe by a hard-fought 12-round decision. Uh, Dogbe says he was overlooking Navarrete, wants to uh, get his revenge before possibly moving up in weight. Navarrete wants to prove that he's legit and he's the man. Should be a very good fight on the undercard and a rematch right there. Um, and then in the main event, you got a great rematch uh, also coming your way when Miguel Burchell, reigning WBC super featherweight champion. That's 130 pounds. He's also my number one ranked uh, fighter in that weight class right now. He's taking on Francisco Vargas, former champion, in a rematch from their January 2017 bout in which Burchell uh, dominated Vargas, handed him his first loss, and took the WBC title. Uh, Vargas hasn't fought. It's been about 13 months since he fought, and he's only fought twice in the two years since the loss to... Um, over two years since the loss to Burchell. So now he's coming in, trying to uh, get his revenge against Burchell, who's the number one guy in the division and is, you know, at the top of his game right now. So it should be interesting. That's Saturday, May 11th on ESPN. And then also that day on the 11th, we're going to have a Fox card. Um, I'm not sure what the co-feature is on this one, but I know the biggest name fighting on the undercard, and I hope it makes television is Matt Korobov, former world title challenger at middleweight. He actually uh, fought Jermall Charlo back in um, in May and uh, came up short by a controversial unanimous decision. Uh, he's returning. He's taking on some unknown guy named Emmanuel Aleem on the undercard, but he's trying to get back in the mix following, uh, you know, after really putting his name out there, so that should be decent. And then in the main of eight, you got undefeated uh, unified super welterweight champion which is 154 pounds um, Jarrett Hurd is taking on Julian J. Rock Williams his mandatory challenger former world title um, challenger also um, this should be a good scrap right here really looking forward to it uh, between two good 154 pounders and Hurd is the number one fighter at 154 so that should be good that's Saturday May 11th then on Saturday May 18th you got three different cards coming at you um, that should be good. Uh, first up on ESPN, you're gonna have Billy Joe Saunders. Uh, it could be ESPN or ESPN Plus. Billy Joe Saunders, my fourth ranked middleweight right now, former middleweight champion, undefeated fighter, is moving up to 168 and competing for the interim 
the vacant interim uh, WBO super middleweight title when he takes on uh, little known Shafat Isufi. This should be, uh, it could be end up being for the full WBO title as Gilberto Ramirez moved up to 175. He's the champ right now. He's still uh, deciding whether he wants to stay at 168 or uh, stay at 175 now that he moved up there. Um, but it should end up being, uh, at some point, it could end up being for the vacant uh, full world title. So Saunders coming back, trying to win a championship in another weight class. So that should be interesting. And then on the zone, you got two good cards, World Boxing Super Series semifinals for both these fights. Uh, first on the undercard, you're going to have uh, Yvonne Baryanchek, undefeated IBF junior welterweight champ, that's 140, taking on Josh Taylor, uh, who's an undefeated top contender, who's fighting in his home country of Scotland in this fight. This should be a good one. Baryanchek is a straight come-forward fighter. He destroyed Anthony Yidget in the quarterfinals of the World Boxing Super Series and is now trying to go through Josh Taylor. But Taylor's a number two seed coming in, favorite to go to the final. This should be a good fight. Two undefeated fighters fighting for the world title. The winner moves to the finals to take on Regis Progre in what would be a unification bout um, and the finals of the tournament. So it should be a really good fight right here. And then in the main event, you got the man they call the monster at 118 pounds, Bantamweight. Uh, let me get his name right. Na Naoya Inoue from Japan. This guy is a fucking beast. He is a monster. He's taking on Emmanuel Rodriguez. This is a title unification bout at 118 pounds, and it's the semifinals of the World Boxing Super Series at 118. The winner moves to the finals to face Nonito Donaire, who just won this past weekend. This is going to be a good fight right here. So make sure you're checking that out. That's a doubleheader on the zone on the 18th. That's not it, though, on the 18th. We also have a big Showtime card. On the undercard of that and the co-feature, you're going to see Gary Russell Jr., WBC featherweight champion, uh, making his return and hopefully not going to be his only fight this year as he takes on former 122-pound champion Kiko Martinez. Uh, Russell is just is a talented fighter. He's a pleasure to watch. It's sad we only get to see him fight once a year, but... You will not be disappointed in this one. Check it out. Main event's going to be even better. You got undefeated WBC heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder making the, I think it's the ninth or 10th defense of his title reign when he takes on former world title challenger Dominic Brazil. If you don't know Dominic Brazil, this guy, um, his only loss is to Anthony Joshua. He doesn't have um, a big resume in terms of victories, you know, in top notch competition, but. He went seven rounds with Joshua before getting stopped a couple years back. So he's not bad, should, but it's always good to see Wilder. You know it's almost a guaranteed knockout in that fight. So really looking forward to that one. So three different cards on Saturday, May 18th that you cannot miss out on. And then on Saturday, May 25th, to close out the month, we have three cards coming your way on that day as well. So make sure. Uh, first up, we got on Fox Sports 1, you're going to see former former 154-pound uh, champion, super welterweight, Austin No Doubt Trout is returning to action after an 11-month layoff. He's taking on former world title challenger, uh, Terrell Gauchet. This is a decent bout at 154 to see if Trout still, you know, has what it takes to be a top 10 guy and be a world title challenger. And Gauchet, if he can get right, if he can get back into the mix, a younger fighter right here who's only lost... It was to Arizlan Dilara. So it should be a good one. That's Fox Sports 1 on the 25th. Also on the 25th, we got an ESPN card. Uh, on the undercard in the co-feature, you got former two-division world champion Jose Pedraza returning after losing his title to Vasily Lomachenko. He's going to be taking on Antonio uh, Lazada. This is going to be, again, on ESPN. The main event is going to see undefeated 130-pound champion Masayuki Ito from Japan, who's a very talented and entertaining fighter to watch. He's going to be taking on American Jamal Herring. This should be just a stay busy fight for Ito, but, um, you know, as, as he continues to move forward to bigger, to bigger fights, but he is entertaining and fun to watch. And then on the, um, and then also Saturday, May 25th, uh, the last card I want to talk about is going to be, um, Ole, uh, on the zone. Alexander Usyk, the current unified and undefeated cruiserweight champion, 
um, is moving up to the heavyweight division to take on Carlos Decam, former world title challenger at heavyweight. This is a good test for Usyk in his first fight at, at heavyweight. Cannot wait to see it. Should be entertaining as he moves forward to possibly get in line for Anthony Joshua um, in early 2020 or sometime in 2020. So a lot of big things happening. Like I said, May is going to be fun. Um, a lot of big fights, a lot of title fights. And every weekend, guys, you got multiple cards. So um, make sure you're watching. There's a lot of boxing going on. I can't wait. All right, guys, that's it. True boxing been hit with the truth.